Welcome back, everybody. We're again on some math tricks and tips from uh, somebody who received a perfect score in the math section of the ACT. Today, we're going to look at this question. It says, the function fx is defined by fx equal to ax, a to the x plus b, where a and b are constants. The graph of y is equal to fx has an x-intercept at 3, 0, and a y-intercept at 0, negative 2, 15. What is the value of b? So for this particular question, I want to go over it in three parts, actually. And I'm just going to kind of outline what those three parts are before we move on. So the first part is going to be avoiding the fool's gold, which is actually what the vast majority of people will end up choosing for this particular, for this particular question. Then I'm going to show the proper math way of solving it. But then I want to also go over sort of Desmos tricks in case we don't know proper math. So if you'll just bear with me for all three parts. So the first one that we want to talk about is going to be the avoiding the fool's gold. So most people are going to see this plus b, and they're going to see that it's a y-intercept of 0, negative 215. And they're going to think, oh, well, that's an easy question. It's negative 215 as the correct answer, right? But in fact, it's going to be wrong. And the reason it's wrong is that this is not an mx plus b form. It's an exponential form. And so we can't just treat it as if it's an mx plus b form, which is for a straight line. And, um, and yeah, so just avoid the fool's gold. In terms of the proper math way of solving it, the way that we want to uh, look at this question is to realize that the y-intercept uh, always happens at x equals 0. And so we'd want to go ahead and plug in the 0 in for the x. So we could get something like, um, let's see. So this would be at y intercept would be at x equals 0. So we could say negative 215 is equal to a to the 0 plus b. And anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. And so this is really going to be negative 215 is equal to 1 plus b. And from there, we just subtract 1 from both sides. So it's going to be negative 216 is equal to b. And so negative 216 actually ends up being the correct answer. Now, a lot of people might not feel like they would have known how to do that right off the bat. And uh, in general, I would like to see people really develop their Desmos skills and problem solving skills to the point where even if they don't know the math exactly, they could still arrive at a correct answer. And so I want to show you the tools on Desmos that could have potentially led to that. So they give us two points here, 3, 0, and 0, negative 2, 15. And so we could go ahead and plug these into Desmos through the table. So this is going to be uh, 3, 0, and then 0, negative 2, 15. And with these two points, I can then go ahead and write the regression as we've seen in the other videos. Regression is just a fancy way of saying a model. And in Desmos, the way that we write regressions is by corresponding the, the, the variables that we have with the table. So this is y1 here because in the table I have y1. And then Desmos is programmed for this squiggly, which is right underneath the escape key on your keyboard, to be sort of like the equal sign. And then I could do a to the x1 plus b. And this actually graphs the exponential for me. And as you can see, it also tells me that a is 6 uh, and that b is negative 16. And so we still could have found this negative 216 answer even if we weren't 100% sure on the math. And so with that out of the way, we'll, um, we'll look forward to seeing you in future videos. The plan is to have at least one video per day over the next couple of weeks with a lot of these more advanced math tricks that a lot of people don't necessarily see on the blue books. And so if you stayed for the end of the video, be sure to like and subscribe and um, Turn on the notification bell for when the new ones drop in the future, and we'll look forward to seeing you then.